So today we are going to talk about configuring the default gateway parameters and also adding static routes to the ESG but also the, the LDR. So as you can see here I made up a, a little drawing and um, this is particularly for my, uh, well, for my environment here where I have the internet, a firewall, physical firewall, a physical core switch, an access switch and <clears throat> to that access switch I have the whole uh, ES6 environment connected to that so it's a VDS and in that virtual environment we have a ESG and an LDR um, for right now um, I've set up some application servers, web servers and the database server so um, eventually we will try to reach um, these servers here which are in the 192.168.12 13 and 14 network um, I will try to reach that service from my well, home network which is 10.11.11.0 or 10.66.66.0 which are basically VLANs on this switch here so let's start first of all with configuring the default gateways um, as you can see here you will see the three tier app which are my application servers, one database server and two web servers um, all of them have IP addresses and those IP addresses are um, well basically mentioned here on this drawing so let's start with configuring the default gateways as you can see here I've created different tabs just to be faster uh, in navigating through the vSphere environment or through the vSphere client um, with one tab open with my hosts and my VMs and the other one uh, with the NSX part so uh, first of all let's go to the edges and um, go to the edges we will see that we have two edges created it's taking a little bit of time here and you can see the ESG and the LDR here so let's first go to the ESG and let's go to in the interfaces and let's just verify if the interfaces are configured correctly so we have an interface that's going to the physical and the other one is going to the, to the LDR you can see the IP addresses here so um, as you can see in the drawing here this is the interface that's going to the physical environment and this is the interface here that's going to the LDR so that was the ESG so let's try to see if yeah the routing is configured and as you can see here there's no default gateway so let's configure the default gateway which is going to the physical and the default gateway for this is 192 no it's 10.10.105.253 which is actually an interface on the physical switch so let's do a quick verification here let's go to the switch and if I do show IP interface brief you will see that this VLAN here VLAN 105 is actually the default gateway so 10.10.105.253 so let me put the administrative distance to 1 and hit OK so for some reason the first time it doesn't pick it up I don't know why so let's do it again 10.10.105.253 1 if I hit OK I can here publish the changes here and let's do that and if I publish the changes and everything went well you will see that the default gateway is configured here so let's do the same with the um, LDR and you will see here that the let's just cross check the interfaces one is going to the ESG which is of course normal and the other ones are just connected to the, the app, the web and the database logical switch so first of all let's configure the routing and we see the default gateway here is also blank and 
default gateway should go to the ESG as you can see the drawing here if we're configuring this device right now and the default gateway is northbound uh, to the ESG which is 192.168.11.254 so let's start configuring the 192.168.11.254 one let me copy paste that because ah, okay let's hit publish and we can now see that the ESG um, or that the LDR has a default gateway right now so what happens if we try to ping let me let me see if I'm um, I can't pick. let me see here you will see the interface en0 if I'm correct or it's all en yeah en0 and we can see that I'm, I have an IP address in the 10.11.11. Uh, well 10.11.11.0 range which is let's go back to the core switch which is an interface on my core switch as well 10.11. 11.253 um, and I am in that VLAN so if I try to ping for example the web server which is 192.168.13.101 it won't work 192.168.13.101 um 13.101 and you can see here that well i'm getting a timeout so let's oh, i mean we assume that this needs to work of course um what need to happen so i already configured the default gateway on the esg towards my core switch i already configured a default gateway on the ldr towards my esg so right now we need to make sure that my core switch knows where to find these networks and the ESG also needs to know where it can find these networks. So we need to create a static route on my core switch but we also need to create a static route or static routes on the ESG. So let's start on, on, my, on, on my core switch first. So let's do IP route 192.168.12.0 and we can we can find that network on the 10.10.105.254 if I'm correct well the same we're going to do with the 13 network as well 13 and the same we're going to do with the 14 network as well so what I'm basically doing here is I'm telling my core switch where I can find these networks that are actually behind the LDR, so that are in the NSX environment. So now we told the, the, the core switch that I can find those networks behind this interface. I will also need to tell the ESG where I can find the networks so it knows where to go to and this is actually the next hop is this address here so let's configure the static routes on the ESG and let's go back to the ESG And there you go. ESG is here. Let's do routing. And let's go to static routes. So routing. And then let's add in the static routes, which is 192.168.12.0 slash 24. And the next hop will be 192.168.11.253. We're using the interface 
towards the LDR. Let's hit OK. Let's add in the other ones as well. 492.168.13.0/24. Next up is 2.68.11.253. Slash twenty four seven dot two five three. Okay, and hit okay. So we're actually telling the ESG that all these networks can be found behind this IP address. And let's hit publish. So now add it. The networks and if I try to ping right now we can see that it works I can also ping for example to the other application server or to the database server 